We're about to compute the area of a parallelogram in the textbook, page 182, we have our area of a parallelogram formula. We are gonna take the two vectors and cross them and then take their magnitude. We start out with points, not vectors. So if this is our parallelogram with four vertices or four points here, we have P, Q, R, and S. All right, we need to create vectors here. Now for your first question should be, how do I know that P and Q are adjacent and maybe P and R are not adjacent? I have no idea. However, I'm gonna draw another parallelogram where P and R are adjacent. And that parallelogram, this isn't quite to scale, but that par parallelogram looks like this. And if you take this part, and move it right here, you'll have the exact same area. So it turns out uh, it doesn't matter how you have them lined up. It should work either way. There is one thing you can do that would mess the area up is if you went, uh, when we create our two sides, if this is one side that I use and this is another side that I use, that will give you a zero area because if you think of the parallelogram created by two parallel sides, it looks like this and it's flat and the area will be zero. So the way we correct that is we make sure all of our, well, both of our vectors start from the same vertice. So I'm gonna just, I usually pick the easiest vertice, kind of already committed to P, so I'm just gonna use P as the vertice. So we'll let U, and it's always, end minus start. So this is S minus P. So S is negative 2, 11, 8, minus P, negative 1, negative 3, negative 6. So we have 2 plus 1, and we're getting a vector here. So negative 2 plus 1 is negative 1. 11 plus 3 is 14, 8 plus 6 is another 14. So that's the vector u. Now v is also n minus start. Now that end is q and start is p. So this is super important here that we're using the same uh, starting point here. Very, very important. Do I have to use Q? No, I could actually use R instead. But I've already written Q, so we're gonna go with Q. 266 six minus P, negative one, negative three, negative six. I have more fun when I subtract a positive vector, so I probably, I'd recommend take your vector that has the most positive terms and use that as your initial vector or initial point. I just chose verse one and that's fine too. Two plus one is three. Six plus three is nine. Six plus six is 12. So that's V. Now we have our area formula. So do the cross product first. So I like the IJK method. You do not have to use the IJK method. There are other ways to compute it. So I'm not gonna go through the whole cross product computation because that would take a while, but you get the cross product. This will give you some vector. This vector is not the answer, the magnitude is the answer. So then take the magnitude. So you do the square root of a squared plus b squared plus c squared. And so that will be your magnitude right there.